starting off with our grid in the last tutorial, you can see I've got those uh, measuring point lines here at this funny angle, and if I lay over my grid box above it, you can see I just sort of removed those and I drew everything back to the vanishing point. That's going to make it easier for me to translate uh, to the actual drawing. So the first step what I wanted to do was just really kind of draw the outside volume, right? You can see I've just, just drawn in the outside volume. I know from my elevations and from my one point perspective what those window systems are like. In this case, everything is diminishing back to these two vanishing points, the left and the right. Every element, including these window units, the doors, uh, the stairs, and this shift in the ground plane, which you can see here. And again, I've measured this so that it's at three on the horizon, <coughs> so that this ground plane uh, that would have been up at the same level of the horizon made things a little bit confusing. I've sort of shifted it down so I can look at the top of it. Okay, and that continues all the way through. I'm going to do something over here so it's not quite so um, uh, straight and uh, kind of angular. looks a little abstract here, so I'm going to try to make it look a little less abstract, a little more natural, and you could fool around with that in your own drawings. Um, all I've done here is really just tried to lay in uh, those measurements that we know exist to get the returns here and to get that, uh, <coughs> that window system kind of pushed back inside of the facade a little bit like it is in the plan. And then uh, I did this stair on my own. It's not the same stair that you're going to have um, in the Hughes drawings. Um, even the stairs, though, you can see they diminish uh, in both directions. Um, but I wanted to make the stair a little bit more complex um, so it actually kind of cuts through um, rather than kind of returning at the top of that shift in the ground plane. I kind of wanted it to move through that shift somehow in a more complex way, um, just for fun. And then finally, um, I remove all of my sort of construction lines and I lay the thing in so that it has uh, uh, more of an opaque presence. Um, I actually drew some landscape in the back and have it sort of really lightly mirrored in on the glass so it kind of you feel the reflectivity of that. But this is why I, I kind of <coughs> moved up uh, my eye line of sight so they could see the top of that ground plane. So now you can kind of see how this kind of slices into that shift in the, in the ground um, and <coughs> how it moves itself around the back of the building. Um, that's basically that. Um, it's a, a lot less complex than the one-point perspective, interior one-point perspective that we did, but also you've got some practice now, so I don't feel like I really need to go through this um, to the same extent that I did there. Uh, <clears throat> that's the, the two-point perspective uh, for your assignment.